that's our heart's cry this morning, is that you would come in power. Lord, we're so grateful for your presence that's here, but we're crying out for the power of God to be manifest in our midst. Lord, we come with our weaknesses and our baggage and our illnesses and our struggles and everything else that's going on in our world. And we lay it before you and we thank you that you can move in power this morning. And Lord, as a church community, we stand in unity with our hearts towards heaven, crying out for more of you. Lord, would you move in power this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord's saying, several of you here, your life, or for everyone, your life is to be marked by calm consistency. Some people remember, you know, your spectacular successes, but for God, God's saying, just walk with me, talk with me, calm consistency. Come unto me, all you who labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Don't be busting your boiler. Don't be trying hard. Just rest in God. Calm consistency will be the hallmark of your life. Lord, we receive that this morning. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Just with every head bowed and eye closed, if you're here in church this morning and you you need God to come through for you in some way in your life, what maybe that's a physical healing, may, maybe it's your mental health, maybe emotions are going crazy, maybe you're facing an impossible situation, you're like, I don't know how to get through this, maybe there's a relationship breakdown, maybe you're just feeling the stress or the weight of the world. Whatever it is that's going on for you, if, if you're here in church this morning and, and you know that, that you need God to come through in some way and that's what you're believing for, would you just be really brave and lift your hand up nice and high because I want to include you in a prayer. If you, you need God to come through in, in some way, yeah, keep, the, keep them up. Lift your hands nice and high. Who else? You're, you're believing for a miracle. You need some sort of breakthrough. Just keep them up. Keep them up nice and high. Okay, just... What about if you're here this morning and you're, you're feeling maybe a little dry, a little distant from God, and your heart's desire is to feel His presence again, to be refreshed and refilled. And if you're honest, maybe you feel like you're quite far away from that, but that's what you would love to see this morning. You're hungry for a, for a touch from heaven, for God to draw close and to minister to you. Would, would you be brave and lift your hand up nice and high? Yeah, you're wanting God to minister to you. Hands going up. Okay, you can put your hands down. So here's the deal. We, I went into Sunday today. Uh, all, all I knew was that 
God was wanting us to create some space for Him to move in our midst. And we go into these Sundays and you don't really know what He's going to do or how He's going to do it. It's a a little nerve-wracking sometimes, but uh, we just knew that we needed to create some space for God to breathe and to minister and to touch people's lives. And I had some certain people I wanted to pull out and pray for and maybe prophesy over and that sort of thing. But other than that, we just wanted to create an atmosphere and a space for Him to do what only He can do. And I don't have the answers for you. I can't lay hands on you and, and in my own strength know that you're going to get what you need from God. No, it's totally up to Him. But what I do know after doing this many, many times is that if we create space, then God will always move and He'll always fill it. So I know without a shadow of a doubt that we're going to see some miracles this morning. I, I know without a shadow of a doubt that people are going to get breakthrough this morning, that, that people who are dry and distant from God are going to reconnect with Him and, and He's going to pour out His love and His Spirit and His presence over you. I, I know that uh, miracles are going to flow and lives are going to be set free because of who He is. And we were preaching over Easter that the, the same power that raised Jesus or the same spirit that raised Jesus is in us and He's part of this community and He's here right now. And it's not just emotion and it's not just the music. It, it's the creator of the world, the, the creator of the universe. God Almighty is here with His people and He wants more than anything to draw close to you and to minister to you and to fill you by the power of His Holy Spirit. And, and I've given my life actually to connecting people with the power of God in a real way. That's my whole passion in life is to see as many people as possible, young and old, close to God, distant from God, to connect with Him in power in a real tangible way. And so I know that as we create space this morning, God is going to move. You can feel His presence here in the room already. I'm praying that as you're joining online that you'd be feeling the presence of God as well. So we're going to do that. We're going to create some space for God to move. So how are we going to start? And this is what I'm hearing from God right now. That's why I wanted you to respond by putting your hands up. This is how we're going to start. We're going to start by just opening up the altar for, for those people who raised your hands. So if you, if you put your hand up, you, you're believing God for something, you're needing a breakthrough in some way, or, or you, you just need to connect with the presence and power of God again. You lifted your hand up. I need you to be super brave now. The worship team's going to continue to sing over us. And as they do that, I, I need you to come out of your seat and to come and stand at the front. And I believe that as you do that, the presence and power of God is going to fill you. He's going to touch you and He's going to minister to you right where you're standing at His altar in His house. So can you do that? with me come on team why don't we sing for a moment you quickly come out of your seat if you lifted your hand just quickly come we need your fire thank you lord just quickly come come and fill this altar on quickly come if you put your hand up you just we come out i don't i don't mind fire. if we have to if the whole church comes forward that'd be awesome come just quickly come. come come right in here as you come just let your faith build Let's let be a heart cry to me.
if you're right right over this side, just come and squish in, just to come, come, come in a little bit closer. What, what was your name again? Melanie. Melanie, just come and stand right here. Lift your hands to heaven. As you do, the power of God's going to fill you. I don't know your at all your reason for being here or why, but I, I, I believe that God has brought you into this nation uh, f- for a reason. And you may have thought it was one reason, but there's a bigger reason. And that'll be revealed to you over time, but the Lord just wants you to know that you're in the right place at the right time and just keep putting one step in front of the other. And as you do that, you'll see God's favor all over everything that you do, every decision that you make, the relationships that you're connecting with and building. And uh, there's going to be a significant um, relationship or uh, connection or something that's going to come in the the near future that is actually um, the will of God for, for season of your life and uh, just trust him in that keep walking keep your eyes on him and as you do uh, things are going to come into alignment but god we thank you for your word this morning and right now lord i ask for a fresh impartation from melody lord fill her up right now filled in jesus name filled in jesus name thank you lord thank you god touch your lord thank you god thank you lord Enzel, just lift your hands to heaven. Enzel's one of our interns. One of the things I wanted to do today is pray for all our interns. We have six amazing interns this year and uh, they've started their studies and it's amazing. We know every time someone signs up for internship, it's um, God does a whole lot more than what they were expecting and, you know, think pressures come on and it's a lot of character development and a whole lot of things that only God can do, He does. Um, and Enzel's right in the thick of that right now, doing an internship. And, uh, I, you know, God just wants you to know, Enzel, that first of all, he, He's so proud of you and He loves you. And uh, He's created you just the way that you are. And sometimes I feel like you, maybe you even struggle with that. Some things of who you are or your past or whatever is like you're maybe not worthy or like, who am I? Or, kind of second guessing but God's not only created you designed you but he's put the call in your life his call uh, for you joined with James and your family but there's something distinct on you as well and uh, that's going to kind of unpack as you go through this training and and whatever but more than anything this morning it's just as though God just wants to single you out to wrap his arms around you and give you a big hug and say hey it's all right I got this, it's going to be okay. Don't worry, don't fret, don't stress, don't succumb to pressure, but just keep smiling, keep trusting Him, and He's going to have a way through for every everything that you're asking of Him right now. Is that all right? So just take a step closer so I can reach you. Lift your hands to heaven. I'm just going to pray the presence and power of God to fill you afresh. You know, it's amazing what God can do just in a moment under His presence. He can increase capacity, He can strengthen, He can bring peace. So Lord, I pray for the peace of God over Anzel, over her family, over her life right now in Jesus' name. Lord, where there's stress or worry or pressure, Lord, we ask that you would remove every ounce of that and you'd replace it with your perfect peace. There it is. Just receive. Take a deep breath in and let his power and his presence fill you afresh. Holy Spirit. stand and and how to be open to his voice and his leading and he's created some spiritual gifts inside he's given you some spiritual gifts like the prophetic and other things and and it's going to be an opening of your heart and mind as you learn to step into that and stand in that and the authority that he's given you in that area so just just wait on him and trust him but it's awesome is this okay church 
keep connected because God's doing some amazing things here. And it, whether you're up the front or not, uh, just let His presence minister to you because He can fill you and touch you and right where you are. What I want to do in this, right here in this moment, is, is to lift all the, the needs before God, okay? So if you came forward uh, with a specific need, whether it's healing or breakthrough, deliverance, whatever, I, I want you to, to stand, posture yourself in His presence, right? So we're standing here, we've walked to His altar. We, just open your heart, often opening your hands and closing your eyes, it's just like a sign of surrender, it's an openness and uh, a willingness to receive and, and we're going to all stand and pray with you okay, so nothing's impossible with God all things are possible, right so, so that thing that you're lifting before Him, it, it's nothing for Him so just place your trust in Him and we're going to pray in this atmosphere. I'm going to pray corporately, like for, for all the needs all at once, right? So we're going to join together and we're going to pray. And we're going to believe for miracles to break loose, for the power of God to minister, and for that thing that you're believing for to. Church, would you all pray, pray with me? Stretch your hands out towards these people. Lord, as we stand in your presence right now, we take authority over everything that has come against each one of these people, whether it's decisions they've made, whether it's the consequences of life, whether it's an assignment from the enemy, whether it's words spoken by other people, whatever it is that has come against them, that is robbing the fullness of what they're called to walk in, we break the power of that in the name of Jesus and we take authority over it right now. We pray the blood of Jesus over every infirmity, every distraction, every assignment of the enemy. And God, we thank You that right now as we stand in Your presence that all things are possible. And so we, Lord, we pray for the miracle working power of God, the Creator of the universe, the One who can speak and things change and atmospheres shift that can hold the whole universe in His hand. Lord, we stand in Your presence and we we stand in faith as a church community. And Lord, we thank You for the miracle working power of God. And we speak breakthrough to every one of these people right now in Jesus' Name. Lord, would You move? Would You move? Would you move? Would you bring deliverance in the name of Jesus? Would you bring healing in the name of Jesus? Would you set people free from anxiety, depression in Jesus' name? Would you bring your peace in the name of Jesus? Lord, we thank you for provision flowing, for miracles flowing, for healing of relationships. Whatever it is, Lord, we thank you that you are more than enough, that you are a good God and you want good things to happen in our world. Thank you for your presence. So now people just open up and receive from heaven. Fresh touch of the Spirit of God. So just receive. Thank you, Lord. Presence and power of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just soak in His presence. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Sinclair's. started a business or just literally just opening up that's awesome and well, we can pray into that but I'm just waiting to hear from the Lord I feel like I see this picture and it's just of like a I'd say um, like a beautiful lake and it's dead calm it's like early morning I don't know if you've been on around a lake 
in the early morning when the sun's just coming up and there's like a, a steam on the water and it's just dead calm and it's, it's beautiful and there's peace is all over it. It's like that. And I just feel like in the midst of the, the craziness of life, there's going to be a, a steadfast peace. The Bible says it's, it passes all understanding. It's like it can be a whirlwind going on all around, but there's peace. And, and I feel like I just want to pray for the, the peace of God over your life, over your home, over your family, your kids, over your marriage, just that His perfect peace will reign. And, and you know, the other thing about this, this scene that I see is that um, it's as though other people will gather it's like a gathering point around you guys not necessarily just because who you are but because they see something on your life and your family and it's just this it's just like they just want to be around it because it's just so beautiful the peace and presence of God and your world and the calm and it's just like that's where I want to be so God I pray for that picture over this beautiful couple and over their kids and their family. Lord, in the midst of whatever life can throw, whatever pressures there are around, Lord, we pray for, for your perfect peace. The, the still early morning across a lake, Lord, that it would just be something beautiful and peaceful that can only come from you. And Lord, we push out every other thing that would come to ripple the waters and stir up the thing and gather the clouds and whatever else would come around them, Lord, we break the power of that in Jesus' name and we come back to this picture of this beautiful lake and the perfect peace of God over their situation in Jesus' name. Lord, I speak your provision over them. Lord, I, I speak unity over them in Jesus' name. Lord, let your love surround this couple. And there's such a beautiful sense. It's like a, a peaceful calm in the presence of God this morning. Sometimes He comes and it's like, it's just like power and it's like dynamic atmosphere. And like, I just love it this morning. It's just like, it's chill, right? It's like just this, His peace over the, over the place. So I pray that God's touching you wherever you're at. And, have over you is, is this word surrender and, and I, I feel like maybe there's some areas of your life that you need to surrender over to God completely, He knows you know and it, it's going to take a decision on your part to say hey oh Lord you have all of me if you can do that and you can make that decision then yeah, the struggle will dissipate, the pressures will dissipate and you're about to run in the direction that God has for your life. So isn't that something you're able to do? Surrender everything to Him? You just do that in this moment right now. You pray to God, you just quietly pray. If you're willing to, then you just lay that before Him. Surrender your whole life. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come, come and stand here, Georgia and Jackson. You guys are together, obviously. Yeah, get got that right. So. Come, come and stand beside me. You guys know Jesus? You love him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just lift your hands to heaven, close your eyes. Don't be nervous or anything. It's all right. We're a safe place here. Okay, just close your eyes and just... That's God drawing close to you. I don't know you, I met you, I don't think before, but I don't know where your walk is with God. But there's a reason that you ended up in church here this morning. And for all other things aside, it's because God wants to draw close to you. And he wants to touch you and show his love to you. It's the, it's the most amazing thing to have the creator of the universe reach down and touch and fill you and minister to you. Lord, I pray that as these guys stand here, Lord, that you would meet them right where they're at. Meet their doubts, meet their questions, meet their struggles. And Lord, you would touch them and fill them afresh. healing power right now. Jesus. Jesus. Fill them afresh right now, Jesus. For you, I, this is here's the deal, Sheldon. I, I feel like you've you've come into a real relationship with Jesus. You've experienced the power of God in your life. You've, you know, at conference and other times, you've felt His presence. And um, there's been like encounter moments. But what God wants you for the next season is to walk in a constant state of um, closeness or relationship with Jesus, with the power of the Holy Spirit. So it's like a you're always encountering Him. You hear His voice, you feel His presence, whether you're doing mundane things, driving the car or whatever, um, so that it's it's a relationship that you carry, not just when you come to church, you feel His presence. And so, Lord, I pray that from this moment as she's come forward, Lord, she'll be filled again with your spirit and your presence but Lord that you would help her to go on a journey to encounter you regularly on a daily basis to hear your voice to walk with you that you'd bring into spiritual maturity in Jesus name and Lord I pray uh, for every desire of her heart the struggles that she's brought you the questions uh, the uh, even pressures from others outside family that are Lord, I pray that that you would put a a hedge of protection right around her life and her mind and her heart, that you would guard her and protect her for yourself. Lord, that she would walk in a closeness and intimacy with you.
why don't we all just stand to our feet? We're going to close now. But isn't it awesome to um, be in the presence of God? I, I love, I love it more than anything else in the world. And when we were talking about series planning and different things, we just felt that for this month at least, for the month of April, we wanted to create space for exactly this, for God to minister and touch people and to bring healing. And we know that uh, just a moment in His presence can change lives. And it, it doesn't mean that uh, ever, there won't be preaching. Like most Sundays, we will still be preaching. Uh, so we'll have a word and and, but we're going to have extended moments of ministry. So come expectant. Can I, can I ask you that? In like a, an encouraging way, but can you, can I be firm as well? Just come expectant. Come into his house full of faith, expecting God to meet with you so that we don't have to kind of build it up and get the, the faith atmosphere and like, get you focused in but if you come to church right prayed up fired up ready for God to meet you to minister to you believing for miracles and man th this place is going to be electric with the presence and power of God as people walk in we from the first moment of singing and it's just like wow the place will be alive and people are going to get saved and miracles are going to happen and healings are going to happen as we create space for God to move. So we'll be preaching into that. We'll be creating spaces in the monks' worship at the end of the preaching. There'll be altar call times because we know that, uh, that God wants to meet with His people. And so that's our commitment is that we're going to go there every single Sunday. But we need you to come with us. Come lead in that with, with us. Come expect and invite people to church that don't know Jesus or maybe they do but they are not going to church or maybe they somebody that needs a miracle invite them to church say hey come to my church we're, we're having encounter Sundays we're believing for God to minister oh, can you come and get prayer because who knows what God can do and, and let's bring in those people and let's believe that we're going to see revival break loose in this place as we go hungry after the presence of God so be front footed be full of faith come prayed up and ready and let's see God do some incredible things over the coming Sundays as we keep gathering together. But, but let me pray for you and then we're going to close the service. God, we thank you for all that you've done here this morning, for the lives that have been touched, for the prophecies that have been spoken, for the miracles that have taken place. And, and Lord, for every person that's here in this room and joining online, Lord, we thank you for the deposit of faith that has taken place in their world, for the, the breathing in this atmosphere, the Spirit of God filling people, ministering, setting people free. Lord, we're hungry for so much more. We know this is just the start of what you're wanting to do. And so, Lord, we, we are committed as a church to keep going there. Lord, we're expectant. We're, we're hungry. Lord, for, for more of you, for more of your spirit. And Lord, we pray that, that so many lives will be changed, that so many people will say yes to Jesus, that so many people will see healing and deliverance uh, and breakthrough in their world as we gather going after your encounter every single Sunday. Lord, we thank you for your presence in our midst. We're, as always, it's all about you, Jesus. We honor you in this house. And we thank you. We seal everything that's been taken place here with the blood of Jesus. And we thank you for life change. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give him a shout of praise. Awesome. Thank you, Pastor Joel, for ministering so powerfully this morning. And hey, church doesn't finish here. Why don't you take someone for a coffee in the cafe? Why don't you invite someone out to lunch? Um, what's on Wednesday? Team night, team night. So 7 p.m. Wednesday, we'd love to see you there. Um, but God bless. Thanks for joining us this Sunday. Take care.